standing here is a privilege i would like to start by saying your intervention was outstanding systematic teaching i love it well done bravo i'm blessed i'm blessed I, I had also the privilege to follow you online at times and i love the balanced scripture rightly dividing the word of truth it's wonderful four square is a good place to be it's a wonderful place to be come on somebody Thank you, Mama, for your kindness. Last time, last time I came here, Bishop wasn't here. And you and the team hosted me so kindly. And I want to acknowledge that to say thank you so much. I appreciate you. And I appreciate all the leadership that I've set behind the set man of this house. Sitting under this short teaching, I couldn't help myself but to join in a little bit with Bishop. Bishop. Because I believe this is a theme that the whole world should be giving heed to. And when we talk about the generations of Joshua, Joshua generation, we're talking about the order between those who have been and those who are about to be. In some spheres, like the church, will talk about fathers and sons, or others here will talk about coach and so on. And I want you to give me five minutes as an introduction to my message. Because the Joshua generations in connection with Moses. It is the highest key. In kingdom continuity. You gotta catch me. Higher. It's higher than prayer. Kandi ni chirenze gusenga. It's higher than praise. Because Kuko, such is done in heaven. But what we are talking about here it is the pattern that God has entrusted to human beings to sustain the blessing from generation to generation. Listen to me carefully. Abraham slept under the stars. Abraham Though he was the keeper of a promise. But his children inherited houses they didn't build. Yet the father slept under the star on in a tent. By the strength of the anointing on generation blessings you do not have to go through what your father has been through not because you pray because you are just the son of somebody therefore Abraham sleep outside but the children inherited lands they did not cultivate. Listen to me. The raw, the primitive thought of God. The original thought of God. Was to have only one Genesis and one revelation. 
cyari ukugira itangiriro rimwe risa nihishirwa ibyahishuwe muyandi magambo you and i wowe nange we should have never have a genesis of our own beginning hitwari kugira itangiriro ry'ubuzima bwacu butangira because we were destined to flow out of the benediction and the blessings and the inheritance our father left us koko twari dukwiriye cyangwa twari twarashyiriweho kuzaba muri gakondo ba data na basogo kuruza badusigiye bityo ni twari kuzigira tuba muri urugo rwego imana yari yarakizo kwikubitira let me cut this short and simple for you reka mbyoroshye 2000 years ago imyaka 2000 itambutse on the day of pentecost ku munsi wa pentecost the holy ghost fell umwuka w'Imana amanuka ku bantu and people spoke with another tongue and prophesied abantu batangira kuvuga indimi nshi barahanura watch me now mumve in 1906 on precisely on the 9 of april 1906 mu gihe umikimwe 1996 mu kwezi kwa kane ku itariki ya 9 in los angeles california muri los angeles muri california under the leadership of a black pastor called william simors munsi y'umushumba w'umwirabura witwaga william simors the holy ghost fell again umwuka wera yongera kumanukira abantu why kuki why kuki it fell already in the days of peter kuko umwuka yigize kumanuka mu bihe bya ba petero what does it have to fall again 100 years ago? Kuchi yaza kongira kuwa kubanu nyuma hii nyaki jume magana chenda. Here is the greatest strategy of demons. Kuwela yuko hari ingamba changwa se imigambi miwi yaba daimoni. The greatest strategy of Satan. Ingambi kome ya satani. Is not to prevent you from praying. Na agaru kukutumu da senga. I'm posing so you can think. Because the Bible says you will worship God with all your mind. So I'm trying to get you thinking now. Holy Ghost fell in the days of Peter. The reason it has to fall again in 1906 is because that blessing that was given to our fathers got lost along the journey through generations so God in his eternal agenda has to come back again because the bridge was broken between fathers and son so there was no transmission of a, a generational blessing so tongues disappear and so God has to bring it back again because the bridge was broken between the generations it's our duty and it's an imperative that we stand as a people who we'll have a generational vision just like your bishop so we can raise a generation just worthy of the baton that will be passed on to them free from selfishness so our anointing does not die with like, like Elisha Elisha anointing died with not because he didn't have a son but he didn't have a son worthy of his anointing I'm speaking to somebody the greatest miracle of Elijah was not calling on fire the greatest miracle of Elijah was not to kill the priest of Baal the greatest miracle of Elijah was not to divide the Jordan the greatest miracle of Elijah was to raise a son called Elisha the Bible says in Malachi chapter 4 and behold in the last days one will come in the spirit of Elijah talking about John the Baptist and he will turn the heart of the children to the father and the heart of the father to the sons I always wonder 
I always wonder why does John the Baptist has to come in the spirit of Elijah but not Moses? Why does John the Baptist has to come in the spirit of Elijah and not Moses who was the greatest intercessor or Jeremiah who was the greatest prophet of compassion why Elijah yet Nyamara. Yet, Nyamara. John ba the Baptist never performed a miracle. Yohana Mwatiza na gitanga za tuzi ya kozi. But he came in the spirit of Elijah. Ali kwa jifitu mwoka wa Elijah. The miracle worker. Ali ukwa li bitanga. But he never performed a miracle. Ali kwa wen haji gitanga za natu na kora. Elijah performed, recorded 14 miracles. Elijah ya kozi bitanga za bizgu chumi na bini. John the Baptist performed zero miracle. Yohana Mwatiza zero. And yet, Nyamara. He had the spirit of Elijah. Yara afitu mwoka wa Elijah muriwe. Think about it. Because Elijah is the only person in the Bible who just didn't bless his son. But he gave a double portion to his son. And God said in the last days it will not be only John the Baptist as an individual preparing the way for Jesus. It will be a group of people under the spirit of Elijah who will prepare the way of the second coming of Messiah that's why Moses was a one man show Moses raised the staff raised it divided Moses talked to God and manna came down Moses by himself strike the rock and water came out Moses, Moses spoke to the rock and Moses and water came out but the generation of Joshua I'm talking about the generation of Joshua when Joshua is about to cross the Jordan he said my father operated alone my father that opened the Red Sea alone. Fungura iyo nyanja kandi ifunga kwa wenye. But for the Jordan, I step away. Ngaja kuinyuma. And I tell my people. Haimanga kira bantu wanyi. Step in the Jordan. Ngoni uchende muri Jordan. It was a group of priests in the ark of the covenant of the presence of God. Awa tamji bari bari kore iku tisandu kui sezano ndetse. But but ye gu tanji. That opened the Red the Jordan. Niyo ba ba menye ba chie mo kabiri Jordan. Psalm 114 verse 3 says. Psalm 114 verse And they saw the people and the Red Sea flee and the Jordan rolled up it was not an individual it was the people four square church I come to speak to you not to bishop but to the people of this house and those watching us you are the generation of Joshua and I come to prophesy tonight Arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Hallelujah. Sit down one second. Before I undertake my task. Watch me now. The identity of every son is not established by the mother. Please say that again. Ichiranga umangana wese ni chiva kuri nina. Moyani magambo izina ni jaso. But by the father. Ariko izina ni jaso. The voice of the father. Ijuri jaso. Is the voice that establishes the identity of a son Nishki, or a daughter. Ijuzina mchini yangu na tuji tizina ni jaso ni yori ranga hukomok. Joshua generation, listen to me now. When Jesus came out of the Jordan from baptism, the scripture said in Matthew chapter 3 that the heaven opened and a voice spoke this is my son on whom 
I have put all my affection. He is my son. I put all my love on him. Yet, Jesus haven't preached even one message. He hasn't healed one person. He did nothing. And the father says, I love you. When Jesus went in the desert to be tempted, let catch up with me. He has three temptations. But really one temptation. The first temptation turn the stone into bread. Second temptation jump and an angel will show up. And then the third look at the glory of this world. I give it to you. That's three. But there was only one. The only one temptation from the devil was to challenge what God just spoke to Jesus 40 days ago. This is my son. And Satan said, if you are the son, this challenge of this generation is to be able to have a reference a reference I want to encourage you no matter where your background is don't be a lonely ranger because the Joshua generation is not a people excluded with God and them alone it's a group of people it's a family are you hearing me somebody I felt like to connect this to what bishop spoke and I would like to undertake my message that he preached already but I will make my effort to still work out something Please, for the few minutes that I have, allow me to read two main scriptures. First Peter chapter 4, verse 10. First Peter chapter 4, verse 10. Peter Wambere Kane Itshumi. That is our main scripture. And my second scripture will be drawn from First Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2 and the rest God will help us first Peter of chapter 4 verse 10 and every man has received a gift even so serve or minister serve the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Second verse. First Corinthians chapter four. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be bound faithful. What you see happening in your life and my life today is not all that God can do. No, it's not. Oh, yeah. Is the allowance of what I granted him. I want to exalt you and got the attention that you do not fall in the imbalance of truths that we are given these days. And allow me to tell you as well that the relevance of spiritual dynamic 
kandi ndashaka kubabwira yuko agaciro gahabwa ibyo mu mwuka bisa naho bikura can never make up for your measure of growth by process impossible ntibishora narimwe kugeranywa nuburyo ukura mu mwuka biciye mu ntambwe uciye mu it doesn't matter how spiritual you are ntacyo bivuze rero cyane uko uri umunya mwuka there are certain things you will never achieve them by prayer but by process of transformation like we just here hari ibintu mu buzima bwa utazigera ubashishwa kugezwa nuko wasenze ahubwo bizaca mu nzira cyangwa intambwe gomba kunyuramo kugira ngo ubigereho ubwabyo Sometimes we think we can make up for something by being excellent as something else Hari giye twibwira yuko kuba ibindi bitu bikora neza cyane dushobora no kuba twagera kuri biri And I think one of our greatest problem even as young as we are I'm joining you right as young as we are Kandi reka mbabwire ikintu tujya twibeshya ho uko tungana mu buto tufite nange ndi muri It is the random usage of divine truth I will explain No gukoresha kuri kw'Imana uko kumvise no kwakiriya kokanya We are convinced Turemezwa that prayer is the master key Yuko gusenga ari urufunguzo rwa byose Everything you want or everything you go through just pray and that's not true certain problems do not answer to prayer they could answer to worship instead oh, oh. teaching because my son Kuko umwana listen to your teaching of your mother that you might require wisdom Ngo mwana wanje uje wumva inyigisho zanyo ko kugira ngo bashe kwakira ubwenge Something as soul through teaching not prayer or sometimes a combination of one or the other Hari ibintu bikemurwa nuko wumvise inama n'inyigisho wahawe cyangwa se bigafatanya n'inyigisho nibindi byose ukora kugira ngo ubone igisubizo Therefore this that goes out only by prayer and by fasting hanyuma hakaba na handi uvuga ngo ibi nabyo none no bizakenera kusenga ariko ukaniriza so i want to move you tonight uyu mugoro bari ndumva nshaka ko twimuka away from the thing you are confessing that you will never see them actualize even though it may seem like you have faith tukava mu bintu dushobora kuba twarizereye kuko nubundi turi abantu bizera tukava mu gihe cyo kwizera gusa ariko tukagira icyo tubikoraho because those things at time will never be actualized until you pay the price to go through a process of transformation kuko bimwe muri ibyo ngibyo hari giye bizarinda usaza utanabigezeho kuberako wirengagije gusa guca mu nzira ni ntambwe byasabwa kugira ngo bigere Genesis chapter 22 says itangiro Abraham Abraham take your only son Gutkware umwana wawe wikine Isaac Isaac yet Kandi Abraham had already Ishmael Abraham yari afite undi mwana witwa Ishmael But yet God spoke to Abraham Ariko Imana ibwira Abraham to take his only son Iramubwira ngo umwana wawe wikine Because Isaac Koko Isaac father data was Abraham Abraham not Abraham nago yari Abraham Ishmael father hallelujah Ishmael father Ishmael was not Abraham nago yari Abraham he was Abraham before yari process of Abraham. transformation by covenant hallelujah Ishmael avuka isera kitwa Abraham so the same way uko kunturero God cannot credit Ishmael to Abraham Imana ntago yaremera noneho Ishmaeli Abraham in the same manner ni nako until you go through a process of transformation and encounter no that's a monamge zose ni nzira ikujana muguzwa ni imana there are promises you will never enjoy harama sezera nutaze jero wana se asohora because they do not belong to your old version but rather to your new version after going through process kukwa yama sezera nona agusha wana kuyakira uchiri mri versio ishaje ukomba kuwanza gucha mwanziri kuza na mri versio Am I speaking? Are you catching me? I come tonight to challenge you. Because our generations is standing on a very high elevation. 
kuko urubyaro dufite uyu munsi rimo rurashaka kuzamurwa mu rwego rwo hejuru we are one of the generation the most gifted that the world has seen turi turi bamwe mu rubyaro ruriho uyu munsi rwigeze kubaho rufite impano zihanitse kurusha ikindi gihe we are a generation that's the most anointed that the world has seen dufite urubyaro rufite amavuta asi arenza yikindi gihe but i'm speaking to this generation kandi urwo rubyaro nirwo mumbwira as my own spiritual father spoke to me nuko umubyeyi wanjye mu mwuka nange ambira the anointing the anointing ayo mavuta and the gifts ni mano will take you on the mountain top azakujyana kugeze kugasongera ku musozi but is the character that keep you there ari kumuco uzabyitwara nani uzakuhamisha ho ngaho it is working through the process ibyo nanone ni zantambwe that build your inner man ni yanzira yuba ku muntu w'imbere in the likeness of Christ muri wa muco wa Kristo so that your blessing kugira ngo imigisha yawe is not aborted because of your status that have not grown ni zarambure cyangwa se ngo ipfire mu nzira kubera yuko wowe utarakura mu rwego rwawe i was speaking somewhere and i told them jesus does not make millionaires nigize ndimo nganira mu iterano rimwe ndavuga ni Yesu ntabwo akora aba millionaire aba they were not very excited mbona abantu nta kintu and i feel like to tell you the same thing namwe ndumva nayo bavuga hopefully you will be excited more than the other crowd ariko reka nizere yuko we mwe mubyakira kurusha ngo Jesus does not make millionaires Yesu ntabwo akora aba millionaire Jesus did not come to make millionaires nabo Yesu yaje kurema aba millionaire Jesus came to make ministers meaning servants Yesu yaje aje gukora abakozi be Don't pray to be rich. Nuza segere gukira. Pray don't make people rich. Naba gusenga ariko gutuma abantu batunga. If not Africa will be leading America. Viva ibyo ngibyo Africa yabitwaye America. Don't be quiet like the other church please. Ko mucecetse se. It is the truth. No kuri ndi kubabwira. Those are fallacies. Abona abafarisayi. That our generation have embraced. Abana bacu bamaze kwakira umuco wabo. I'm going to tell you why tonight. Reka mbabwira impamvu uyu mugoro. Before I wrap up. Mbere yuko nsoza. The United Nations says. UN iravuga ngo. By definition. Ikabisobanura icyo. Poverty. Ubukene. It is to have 2 dollars a day. Nuko bumu nashobora kubona amadorari abiri ariyo yinjiza ku munsi Extreme poverty Ubwo nubukene bwo gutindi is under 1 dollar Noneho umuntu ubaye gutindi wo kubabarirwa wabona rimwe as an income Akari ryo yakije Meaning Shatse kuvuga ngo Most Africa Abanyafrika bose in extreme poverty Nago turi mu bukene turi mu butindi I'm going somewhere Hmm I'm going somewhere watch Hara hano ndi munje Religion Idini thrives in poverty environment Rikomeza I'm going to tell you why Rihangayicha cyangwa rirwanira ahantu hari abakene gusa I will say it again Ndabisubira Religion Idini thrives Gibera ho in a poverty environment Ahantu hari abakene gusa Because poverty is not a bank statement. Ntabwo ari agapapuro ko muri banki. Is a mental or a mindset growth statement. Ni mitekerereze yagutse kandi nicyo kibiranga. Are you ready? Because of that poverty. None kugubwo bukene. We don't like process, we like miracles. Ni dukunda yuko ibintu bica mu nzira bigomba gucamo tushaka ko bituziraho nk'igitangaza. I'm African hallelujah. We don't like process. Bishop. Lay hand on me. Anoint me. So I can be rich. Anoint me. So I can be promoted. Because of the mentality. We curse process. And we want a quick fix. Tugashaka ibintu byihuse cyane. Fix me now. Ibintu binkorera akakanya. Ngira umukire ubu. Make me make it now. Reka mbishobora ubu. So religion thrives. Rero itoro rikabigorerwa mo. Because religion sell oil. Kubera yuko itoro rigurisha amavuta. To be rich. Kugira ngo abantu bakire. Special oil for wealth. Amavuta adasanzwe yo gukira. Bring please this money here we build the church. Muzana amafaranga tukubaka sengera. Because you don't want to go through the process. Ni mushaka guca mu nzira bisaba. The Bible says. Ariko bibiye iravuga ngo. God give you power. 
Say it with me. God gave you power to make wealth. Not to pray for wealth. But he gives you power. He gives you health. He gives you relationship. Listen to me, Joshua generation. Don't be lazy. I said, don't be lazy. Don't be lazy in the name of Jesus. Don't be lazy that you are praying till morning. Don't be lazy because you are fasting 100 days. Get out there. Go to school. Send down a nurse. Get a diploma. Get in the workforce. And let God open doors for you. Listen to me. I can call right now people who want to drive. Come, 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 come. There's an anointing right now to lay hand on people. You will come here. We will pray for you. Drive, drive, drive. You can't go and drive. You need to go take your book and learn how to drive. Hey! 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 But we will for you. So when you open the book to study, God by the anointing increase your understanding. But you still need to study. Hey, 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 Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Listen to me. Generation of Joshua, listen. I have noticed something. Especially in Africa. And it break my heart. When I see all these young brilliant people. Who are convinced. That the epidemic of success is to be a preacher. Don't get mad at me now. Because I love you. Listen to me. There were 12 tribes. There were 12 tribes. Only one tribe out of 12 was consecrated to priesthood. The 11 tribes were supposed to go in the marketplace and do business. The Temple of Solomon was built on two pillars one of the pillars was called Shimei was the order of priesthood and the second pillar was called Boaz it was the order of business so the structure of the church is held by two anointings priesthood and kingship. The people who work in the secular. They are as much ministers as the people who preach from the heart. They are not less spiritual. That's what I want to speak to all kings who are anointed to command in the secular world anointed to run businesses anointed to fight and gain ground so that they can support the work of God instead of sometimes being here Praying till morning. Some of you, as others are praying here, you should be doing business to bring the money so they know they were praying properly. Some of you, as others are praying here, you should be doing business to bring the money so they know they were praying properly. Apostle, 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 this generation is spoiled. This generation spoiled. Puri, gate. Yeah, we. Bless until it is a waste. Teaching. Prayer. Teaching. Teaching. Sunday in, Sunday out. When the Bible study. Hey. Everyone who has been in church. 
umuntu wese uzahangukira akaza buri munsi buri munsi for 10 years akamara imyaka 10 umva normally ubusanzwe you have absorb enough curriculum to be given a phd yes ahantu abantu baza mu rusengero umunsi ugashira umwaka ugashira imyaka ikaba 10 ubundi mwa mwara patiwe mu bintu ku buryo uyu munsi mwakagombye kwa mufite doktora is there anything that's not been taught hari ikintu umunsi w'imana mutahigira listen to me mungurikire i'm standing on the pulpit today uyu munsi magaze kuruhimbi because service kubera gukora umurimo brought me here umurimo w'imana wa wanzitiriye don't miss this service brought me here umurimo w'imana nkora niwe wanzanya ha no no service serving wood gukora ya umurimo nyine ukora was the platform from which God raised me up to be a preacher. Gukora nkorera abandi nicyo kintu cyampaye uburyo bwo kubasha kuza kuruhimbi. Young people. Basore give me your ears. Muntiza amatwi yanyu. I was born from a Muslim family. Nje mvuka mu muryango w'abayislam. I was groomed to be an imam. Nari narigishijwe kuzaba imam. Today as I speak to you. Uyu munsi ubwo nkubwira My grandfather has seven mosques in our village called Dingirai in Guinea. Iwacu kwa sogokuru sogokuru afite imisigiti irindwi imugace kiwacu kitwa Dingirai muri Guinea. I was groomed to oversee that because it's from generation to generation. Kuba umukuru waho hose kuko babiherezekanya mu miryango. And I encountered Jesus face to face. Hanyuma Yesu arambonekera mu bona amaso kuyandi. Sunday I will share my testimony with you. But for tonight, everything changed for me. My family rejected me at first. To tell you all serious this is, I'm from a tribe where 99.99% of people are extreme Muslims. I lost two of my cousins last year through suicide bombing. Na, Serious matters. Nabu na na push is a babjara vanje babiri basize even of you terab go by Hari Wabo. When I become a Christian, me and Lutsum Christo, my encounter with Jesus Christ was so flashy. Guhura na Christo Jari will be garagarina with him. My life transformed. Uwisma Ganja will Hindu Kugo. And I become one of those extremists, passionate. I didn't know anything about the Bible. Because I didn't grow up in a Catholic or even another type of religion. You but I know one thing. I can serve with my hands. Because I didn't know scriptures to do anything so for the longest time of my life as a christian i was an usher protocol carpet cleaner and bathroom cleaner listen to me please hear me I was a professional engineer. Nari umengineer. Successful in what I was doing to high levels. Kandi bion na kora ganayu kora gamuru egoru chilenga na bikora neza. But the spirit of love. Ari ko umu kauru kondo hallelujah. The reason this generation do not want to lean according to the will of God. Imamvu urubyaro rwano ne cyangwa bubu badashaka kugenda ngo bacire bugufi ubushake bw'Imana is because our love is small toward God and the business of God. Nuko urukundo dufite Imana ni by'Imana ni ruto cyane. I clean carpet. Nka koropa nka hanagura tapi. Listen to me. Umva. I grew spiritually i grew in stature 
in stature in wisdom like Jesus in Luke chapter 252 having favor with God and with man by connecting myself with the church and the leadership of the church that's all I know and hear me the first time my pastor saw me preach holding a microphone like I'm standing here it was the first time I was starting and becoming a senior pastor and for eight, nine, ten years, I have served my pastor. Even to open in prayer or do protocol or whatever you guys do here, arranging things. Never. Never. Not even to open in prayer. So it's not my gift that promoted me. It's not my anointing of a teacher that promoted me. It's not my revelation of scripture that promoted me. It is growing through the process, through the platform of servanthood that lift me up. Today, just because you have a dream and a vision that you were ministering in China or in India, you feel like you need a microphone. Are they not recognizing me in this house? Or even in the secular world. Don't miss the leadership of tomorrow, please. Even in the secular world. Just because you have a dream in your heart that you will be a CEO. You can't even listen anymore to your direct supervisor even though you are still on the bottom. You want to fulfill your dream. But ask Moses. He had a dream. And a calling. To deliver the children of Israel. But because he mocked the process, he ended up jeopardizing his calling by killing a man with his bare hand and trying to fulfill his godly call to be a deliverer. He used the wrong tool his hands instead of using a staff you cannot hold the staff because the staff speak of authority and the hands speak of immaturity to hold authority Moses you have to go in the desert and learn to keep the sheep of your father in law I rather work for anybody. I rather work for anybody. But not my father in law. Bro. But it was also a process. To to Moses. Moses. And teach him the way of the desert. Because only the desert. Because the desert is sterilized. Only because of an atmosphere of sterilized atmosphere in the desert. Like in an hospital, only there can you hear that God can do an open heart surgery and begin to cut off the pride out of him. 
and begin to cut out the rebellion out of the Am I speaking to somebody? Some of you, some of you, what you're going through is not the devil. God has brought you in the desert so you can do a surgery, so you can kill your pride, so he can humble you. Somebody say, preach to me. Preach. He brought Moses as an amosi for the open heart surgery. And when he's done with him, Moses said, I can talk, I can speak. You need to send somebody with me. The cocky, prideful Moses. Tell God I'm a stutterer. Yet he wasn't. Moses wasn't. The book of Acts says Moses was educated in all the science. And he was eloquent with words. But because the man has been humbled, he lost trust in himself. He lost trust in his abilities. He lost trust in his education. Hallelujah. He lost trust in his credential and experience. Until he said, God. I can't do it. You need to bring my brother with you. I'm not that good. Only then. You're ready for divine operation. Only then you're ready to be mobilized. Some of you sitting here. It's not because God has changed his mind toward you. It's because you are on the altar of sacrifice. Therefore. Brethren. I urge you by the mercies of God to present your body as a living sacrifice. That word body is the same root word as the word ear. In Greek, God was saying, If I have your ear, I have your body. Joshua generation. What God wants from you is not how fiery you are in prayer. Is this? Hold your ear, everybody, hold your ear. Hold your ear. And say, Lord, say, Lord, I give you my ear. That's why God spoke to Solomon. And he said, I'll give you wisdom. Because you didn't ask for wealth. That word wisdom is not an accumulation of knowledge. It's the Hebrew word for a hearing heart. A hearing heart. I will give you a hearing heart that you will be able to judge my people by giving you a hearing heart Heart, you will not speak your own counsel. You will judge my people from what you will hear from me. Where are you serving today? In the church? Or in the secular? How are you doing? How are you doing there? Are you in the worship? How are you doing? Are you in protocol? How are you doing? Are you working at the bank? How are you? Are you working in the government? How are you doing? Meaning, if God had to show up today, because the greatest key 
kuko ibanga rikomeye a promotion iganga ibanga rikomeye ryo kuzamurwa a stewardship mm? stewardship nokumva no kubigisonga faithful stewards kubigisonga kiza in the kingdom of god mu bwami bw'Imana is forbidden to own birabujijwe kugira ibyo witirirwa say it again birabujijwe kugira ibyo witirirwa if you own kuko iyo byitiriwe is sin iyo byitiriwe bihinduka icyaha in the kingdom bwami in the kingdom of God, it's not ownership. It's stewardship. Because, because, because when you own, you don't give account. But when you're a steward, you give account. That's why, if you're a worker in the church, whatever you're doing, God didn't give you directly. It's used what we call delegated authority. So you don't give account directly to God. You give account to your head department. Who is a human being? Who is not an angel? and he's not God so in stewardship accountability is imperative that's why your attitude is extremely important many people are gifted especially our young generation but the attitude stinks because they have a sense of entitlement you think people owe you something pastor why you didn't say hi to me my boss why you didn't raise me hey nobody owes you nothing are you catching me do you still love me Nobody owes you. Na mo nufiti chio akugomba aha. Nothing. Na na chim. One day I went to clean the carpet. Dimge na jie guana gula tapi. I was an expert cleaner. Naru mo 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 cleaner windsover. The women like when I clean the bathroom. Awa gori yo na bagana no jeje mahari ya bara hakunda gacha. Because it was so clean. Kuko haba gasa neza. They could mirror themselves and put red lips. Basho akire bera muri muzo baka wana ni miru wari baki. So clean. Karusha every kuko ya bagaya kozi skunyish. Watch me. Lero munde. Don't miss what I'm gonna say. Ni muzo guta kazi chunje kuvuga. Excellence. Gukoria ibi noze. Is a spirit. No moka can only be produced by high stewardship. And excellence Kandi is, no, is not beauty. It's a spirit. We call it yatir. It means matters at the highest level. Extraordinary. Uncommon. Excellence. Daniel had Yatir, an excellent spirit. So is Joshua and Caleb. Rero, yo abari barafite umuka wa Yatir cyangwa se wo kunoza yari ya karibu na Joshua gusa. So your servant word kuba igisonga kwawe n'umuka wa Yatir is your signature. Nicyo kimenyetso cyawe. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Ndaje ndabegeye. We have many team that clean but when Elijah clean they don't need to see me cleaning on Sunday morning when they come to church they can see my signature in the same way some people have a poor signature they do their job grumpy. They serve complaining. They serve grumpy. 
They serve complaining. They serve murmuring. They serve by giving the leftover time they have. They serve so they can have the applause of the bishop and the pastor. They serve to be noticed. That's a poor signature. At your work, they don't pay you for work. They pay you for contribution. In other words, the scripture says, whatever you do, do it wholeheartedly. Not unto men. But unto God who sees in secret where champions are made in secret. Where man does not see you to clap him. And he will reward you. So reward is manifested only in a secret place if not man will reward you and there will be no need anymore God to reward you one day I was in the basement of that church and I will take people to go out to do evangelism and I will go do this uh, evangelism and one of the leader held of the church came in the basement by accident like this and, and he saw me talking to the people what we are how you need to, to talk to people when you make them decide. When we're done, this elder came to me and he said, wow, a large, large. You are so anointed. My God. And we keep you in the basement here. Oh, I can't wait. For the day you're going to have the microphone upstairs with the whole connection. I can't wait. I can't wait. I felt like hallelujah. Finally. There is a real prophet in this church family. Who can, rec who can recognize where the real anointing is? My head grew big. Like some of you sitting here listening to me. You think you deserve more. You feel like you know they don't know what I carry. That's the way I felt. So when these guys say I was so powerful and they should give me a microphone yeah. I feel like wow finally somebody is really spiritual in this somebody place. has discernment somebody is recognizing power. pride entered my heart and my head grew big for the three Sundays that follows, I was sitting on the third row. I used to be the cheerleader of my pastor. Come on, pastor. pastor. Preach now, pastor. Bring it on, pastor. pastor. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Now that my head is and my heart is swelling. I was listening now to him like this. No more hallelujah. hallelujah. I feel like I can do great better than this. Process. And I know I have some of my cousins here. And it's not really okay. It's only fine. The only difference is after the three Sundays on the fourth Sunday it's like all the light were shut down. There was only one light. 
on Elijah the preacher with his big head and swollen heart and the Holy Spirit spoke to him your time will come but until then close this and give me this no no I will say it again you didn't catch it close this and give me this I fell on the floor people feel like wow he's going to prophesy no prophecy bro it was conviction and I pray tonight that conviction will come on your heart amen I'm vulnerable man. He doesn't take much for me to cry. When I do wrong. I'm not perfect. David wasn't. But he was quick to repent. Our generation need to learn to have a soft heart. The scripture says. And David flat down before the ark of the covenant a king a king flatting down before another king one is the king of kings and one is the king of Israel it doesn't matter where you are at tonight God want to express love to us all he want to express love to us. not to condemn us but to draw us he wants our ears because the ears are connected to the heart humility is not a gift it's a decision it's a choice the bible says even though Jesus was equal with God he made himself of no reputation lowering down himself to become a man he made himself of no reputation. Meaning he had reputation. But he chose to guard it on the side. There come a time when the spirit of God come on you. You must put your dignity aside. You must put your status and titles and credentials and fulfill achievement aside. And say, Lord, here I am. I need a heart surgery. Realign my motives. I have passion. But realign my motives. I humble myself before you. Made me a servant. That my life might come for eternity that's the first number two quickly you must refuse to remain indifferent and passive in the house of the Lord you cannot sit around to be a taker and not a giver you must contribute because anything that just receive and that not give is dead like the dead sea what are you going to do tonight? are you going to leave this was a good service or are you going to make it personal of God Lord I want to serve you not 50% 100% I want to serve you with a joyful heart I want to serve you with passion 
ndashaka gukora no rukundo byimaze yo ndashaka gukorera hejuri ibindi bintu byose byanje i'm closing with my carpet cleaning nganyuma ndashaka kujya ndashaka kurangiza mfunga itapi yanje i had a high signature nari fite umukono cyangwa signature ikomeye that was tainted with joy kandi byari byuzi byishimo abyuzuye guca bugufi passion yabyushiye kwihebera ibyo nkora excellent kandi byari byishiye kunoza icyakabiri i was loyal nari umuntu w'imfura w'inyanga mugayo that is the word we don't like nari umuntu icyo jambo rero ngo ntago turi kunda kuba umuntu winahemuka i have been in three churches all my life nabaye mu matorero atatu mu buzima bwanje bwose the one i was born again aho navukiye mu gakiza then i moved for our flight to another city aha nyuma njya muri indi mvuye muri uwo muji and then i attended the church hanyuma nkajya njya mu rusengero and the one i pastor hanyuma irindi torero nabaye mu niryo nshumbye three churches ni amatorero atatu niyo nabaye mu buzima bwanje bwose blesses he arahirwa who is planted like a tree washinzwe watewe nk'igiti he will bear fruit ngo azere azere azera and out of imbuto mu gihe nyacyo no mu gihe kitari cyanyacyo ube umuntu ushinza ahantu uhama ahantu don't be a charismatic frog ntuzabe nk'igikeri kijarajara that jump everywhere kirigwa gisimba gurika kijarajara ube ahantu hashingwe So I cleaned the church. And then the carpet was behind the drum. Hanyuma itapi yabaga iri nyuma y'ingoma. I was so tired. Nari ndushye. I passed only one shot. Nuko mpacakanya gato. And I went home. Hanyuma nataha. 45 minute drive. Hari minota 45 yo gutwara. I arrived at home. Ngeze muhira. I was so tired. Nari ndushye. I went to bed. Njya kuryama. And then I'm rolling in bed. Hanyuma ndimo nigaragura mu bibi. Muri bitutsi. Somebody was talking to me. Umuntu ari marambira. And it was not my pastor. Kandi ntari umushumba wange. It was not God. Ntabwo yari imana. It was not my boss. Ntabwo yari umukoresha. It was the carpet. Ariko yari yatapira imimbira. Yari inyuma y'ingoma. So the carpet told me. Ingo itapira zirambira. Large. Irambira ngo large. So you think you will be a preacher? Ese uribwire kuza umuvuga butumwa koko? Ah unfair you are. Rewe kuno nta nuguru umuntu mwiza kwe. You clean very well the carpet everybody see. Wowe wirwa uhanagura neza itapi abantu bareba. No nenge. Je. Bahande drop. Koko ndenye nyuma hari mu ngoma. You didn't then clean. Na nuko yigize unyita ngo nkoro pe neza. In the name of Jesus. It was not Satan. It was the carpet. I learned integrity through service. Not through preaching. Not through preaching. It was one o'clock in the morning. I'm rolling in the bed. Finally, I said, "Enough is enough." I stood up. Dressed up. Took my car. Drove 45 minutes to the church. Get the vacuum. Aspirator. Got in the church. And I went and cleaned. The carpet behind the door. Kind of says, shut up now. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> because my excellence <laughs> and my servant word have to be tainted with joy. So I cleaned and I went to bed to back home. I went to bed, it was 3 o'clock. I slept 3 hours. The best hours ever. Because there's nothing greater to go to bed with a clean conscience. Amen. So how many things I've been talking to you lately and you don't care? Some of you, your offering is talking to you. <laughs> the offering goes. Everybody put 10%. And you, you just come with just zero. This is not fair. Some of you need to grow in your generosity. You see how everything is quiet now. Don't worry, I won't take an offering. Listen to me well. Generosity 
gutanga is a spirit connected to service no mwuka ugendana nabantu bazi gukorera abandi the word generosity iryo jambo gutanga is from the hebrew word currency ni jambo riva mu gihe burayo currency that word from the word currency like your money iryo jambo currency na gaciro agaciro kifaranga ufite ma money current amafaranga nkoresha it is the currency that flows like my water rero iryo jambo na gaciro gatemba mu mazi need to learn to be generous mugomba kwiga kuba abantu batanga cyangwa bagira ubuntu ntimukaba abanyabugugu because the channel generosity uses is the same channel the anointing uses kuko umurongo ubuntu no kugira ubuntu bigira ni nawo murongo amavuta koresha Uje uba rero umuntu utanga cyangwa umunyabuntu kandi ube numukozi wizerwa ube umukozi ukora ibinoze Amen You know Murazi Sometime I look at my background Hari giye nitegereza aha hisi Hari mu rugendo nagenze And it really humbles me Hanyuma rukunjya rukancisha bugufi cyane. I want to encourage you. Ndumva nabakomeza mwese. Regardless where you at. Tutitaye kuho mugeze naho muherereye. There is an English proverb that says. Hari umugani w'icyongereza uvuga utya. It's better to start in the afternoon than never. Byaba byiza gutangira kugica munsi aho kugira ngo ntuzegere utangira na rimwe. By your head as we pray. Ika ubi kumutwe maze dusenge. You're here tonight. Uri hano uyu mugoroba. You know these words spoke to you. Uziko aya magambo haraho yagutsinze. God did not come to condemn you. Data ntabwo yajaje kugucira ho rubanza. God has come to mobilize you. Ahubwo yajaje kugira ngo yongera guhagurutse. He has come to empower you. Yajaje kugira ngo agukomeze. He has come to uplift you. Yajaje kugira ngo agusubize mezindi imbaraga. Humble yourself tonight. Wemera uce bugufi uyu mugoroba. You know where you are at. Aho ugeze urahazi wowe. In the field of service. Mubirebana numurimo cyangwa gukorera imana. How you do business in the world? No mu buryo ukorera ubucuruzi bwawe aho ukorera. How you do your work? Ukukora akazi aho ukorera. How you serve? Ukukora umurimo ahandi hose. In your church. Mu rusengero rwawe. For those who are serving. Kuba abandi bafite ibyo bakora. How is your signature? Ese umukono wa usute. And for those who are indifferent. Nabari mu bindi bitandukanye. Will you respond to the call? Ese wakwemerera imana irimo guhamagara kakanya. But let's start tonight by giving the highest call ever. Ariko reka duhere kumuhamagaro urenze yindi. If you're here tonight. Niba wateranye natwe uyu mugoroba. And you can humble yourself. Ukaba wumva wacha bugufi. And know that you are not right with God. Ukabuzi neza yuko ukwiri imbere y'Imana. That Christ is not Lord of your life. Ukamenya neza yuko Kristo atarakuba atarakubera umwami. I'm not talking about religion. Ntabwo ndimo ndavuga idini. I'm talking about Christ being the Lord. Ndimo ndavuga Kristo kukubera umwami byukuri. And you would like to humble yourself tonight. Ukaba wumva wacha bugufu mugoroba nkuyu. And say pastor Ukavuga kuti mushumba I want Jesus to come in my heart. Ndifuza ko Yesu yaza mu buzima bwanje. And the Lord and Savior of my life. Akambera umwami akambera no mucunguzi. That I will live for him. Kugira ngo mbereho Yesu gusa. And him alone. Nawe abari we mbereho gusa. I want you to lift up your right hand wherever you're standing or Le, sitting right. Reka ngusabe uzamura ukuboko kwawe. I want to see your right hand up right now. Ahuri uzamura ukuboko. Uzamura ikiganza cyawe aho wicaye imari baho mugishe. Inyuma barahari ashose mudufashe hariye. Barahari bazamu ibiganza. Barahari nibatinye mukomeza ibiganza. Because I want to pray for you. Lift up your hand. Ukundi ifuza gusengana namwe uyu mugoroba. I see many hands in the back. Stand up on your feet ibiganza. wherever you are. Stand up. Ikiganza, Aguruka. 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 Stand up on your feet. Reka tugusaba uhaguruka aho herere yose. Stand up on your feet. Wherever you are. Hallelujah. In the back there. Thank on you, the Jesus. top. Stand Hallelujah. up on your feet. 
I want Jesus to be my Lord. Don't miss this opportunity. It's the highest calling in the bad day. On the, on the Don't miss it. It's the highest call. This is the first step of the process. And it was Paul as we just learned. I want to still give a few seconds to somebody. I'm pleading with you. Don't live tonight and go without Christ in your heart. Religion cannot save you. Hidden meaning well cannot save you. Your good work will not save you. I want you to stand up on your feet. I want Jesus to be my Lord and Savior. I can see you up there. I know it's getting late, but I will call you to come right now. Come, on. Come right now in the front. Come on, put your hand together, clap hand for them as they come so we can pray for them. Come, 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 come,